Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne, and today I want to show you what to do if your screen freezes or is not working properly on the Samsung Galaxy A15. There is a button combination that you can hold. It will trigger what is called a soft reset or it's called forced restarting. And simply this will turn your phone off and turn it back on. And usually if it's just a software glitch, it'll fix the problem. Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'll be holding down on the power and the volume down button until the complete screen goes dark, just like this. Power, volume down. We're gonna hold it on three and don't let go. Even if you see a screenshot triggered, that should happen. One, two, three, hold. You're gonna see that pop up, continue to hold the buttons. There we go. Screen is dim. Once the screen goes dark, let go of those buttons and simply put the phone down and give it a couple of seconds. You should see the phone restart just that fast. And basically the phone is gonna reboot up. Think of this as like taking the battery out of your phone and putting it back in. For those of you that remember when phones used to be able to take the battery out, this uh, button combination basically triggers that same process. And the best thing about this is it will just restart the phone immediately. And if it's a software glitch, usually this will kick you out of that glitch and it'll set things up like normal. Let's see, I'm gonna just swipe through, put in my code, and I'm unlocked, the phone is working. Now, if you do this, this process, and guess what, your touch screen still isn't working right, then you might have a bigger issue. Um, if you have dropped your phone recently, um, and maybe your touch screen is uh, cracked or damaged, then I would recommend you take your phone to a service and repair center or find a local cell phone repair shop, have them diagnose it first. If that doesn't work, then you'll wanna go to samsung.com, connect to their um, web support, and you can see about uh, warranty options if you've had the phone for less than a year. So those are a few things to do in the event triggering this soft reset didn't solve your problem. If it did solve your problem, make sure you bump that like button down below. That definitely shows us some love because obviously it worked and that'll help the video to be shared out with more people who might need to see this. So thanks again for watching, take care, and as always, have a good one.